Canwar has had a closer look at the announcement and she joins us now. That's a dividend yield of 11%. So certainly nothing to sneeze at. And Crescent Point is saying that it maintains the flexibility to keep that dividend going even as it sees production increasing by 9%. We were just talking about these producers digging in their heels. Yes, they're cutting their budgets, but they're not really budging on production. And, and Crescent Point is one of those companies saying that the dividend is safe even if low oil prices persist. They're looking to cut costs with some of its service providers. They think 10% of the cost cuts are going to come from those service providers. So that's not good for the oil field services companies, mm -hmm. but these producers have to do what they can to, I guess, keep getting the uh, barrels of oil or oil equivalent out of the ground. Now, they are increasing their oil hedges. So they are realizing, of course, that prices are lower, saying that now just over 50% of oil production will be hedged to $90 Canadian, and 53% of natural gas production will be hedged to $3.60. And those hedges are increased from last year, and they continue going into 2016, 17, and 18. But the voice of calm is really coming through from the CEO, Scott Saxberg, who's quoted saying that oil prices Prices have always been cyclical. Uh, we've been through downturns before. They've not only protected their dividend in the past and their balance sheet, but he says they've come out stronger than before. He points to the dramatic fall that we saw in 2008, 2009, notes that the company was able to cut its costs by about 30% in, in the Bakken drilling and still you know, emerge as a, a strong company. So that that's really the theme that Scott Saxberg is trying to paint this morning. It's been a bit of a darling, particularly with Canadian investors, and and probably keeping that very high dividend will continue to make it. I mean, it's sort of it's it's the definition of a shareholder friendly company, I guess you would say. Exactly, and, and that comes through in the release. I didn't get a chance to dig in through its debt levels, but that's going to be important when investors are trying to figure out if the dividend is safe and indeed if the payout is sustainable, but I believe that Crescent Point does screen well compared to some of the other smaller producers that we have already seen cut their dividends. It says that it has one of the strongest balance sheets in the sector. That's a, 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 a statement in its release today. So that it, that's a, a, an opinion of its balance sheet that is giving the market today. And uh, we'll see if that is reflected in how the shares perform today. We have certainly seen a trend where it's hard, even if you come out with some good news, for an oil producer to outperform when the price of oil continues to move lower as it does today. There have been relief rallies as well with them, so you never yeah. know. And it was down yesterday in the trade 9%. Amber Canmar, thank you very much. Taking us through the latest out of Crescent Point.